by the year 2020, it may be possible to live in a floating city. The 1995 film Waterworld, starring Kevin Costner, is about a post-apocalyptic world where the polar ice caps melted, covering most of the earth with ocean. At the time, it was the most expensive film ever made, and was a box office flop. In the movie, the remaining humans lived on rickety floating cities called atolls. Unlike the decrepit atolls from Waterworld, the Seastead Institute, or TSI, plans to build ultra-modern floating cities called seasteads. The term seastead is a combination of words sea and homesteading, and it is a community of permanent dwellings at sea, outside the territory of any government. According to the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, a country's exclusive economic zone extends 200 miles from shore. Beyond that boundary lie the high seas, which are not subject to the laws of any sovereign state other than the flag under which a ship sails. Although the pure intent of Seastead is to operate independently in international waters, TSI plans to construct the first Seastead in an existing nation's waters because it would be logistically easier to engineer and to travel to and from and would be within international legal framework. In January of 2017, TSI met with the French Polynesian government to discuss building the proto type seastead in their waters. In order for the French Polynesian government to allow the construction of the seastead and have it operate on its own, the TSI must conduct an economic and environmental impact studies. TSI hopes to start construction as early as 2018 and have the first units sold by 2019. The seastead will consist of groups of connected pentagonal modular platforms, with each side measuring 50 meters and can support buildings of up to three stories. Each module will cost $15 million to build and consist of apartments, terraced housing, office space, hotels, and 20% of each platform will be reserved for green space. After the prototype seastead in Polynesia is successful, TSI predicts that the next seastead to follow will have waterfront condominiums, apartments, offices, and parks in a small village setting atmosphere. Then they anticipate adding schools, shops, restaurants, medical facilities, and other aspects of village and small town life as the population grows. TSI is also excited that seasteading will create unique opportunities for aquaculture, vertical farming, and scientific and engineering research into ecology, wave energy, medicine, nanotechnology, computer science, marine structures, biofuels, and much more. Ultimately, TSI's vision is to have seasteads in the open ocean and living by their own set of rules and facilitate a flexible social environment for innovation. Despite TSI's competence and progress, there are criticisms to the seasteading concept. Some believe that starting governments from scratch is easier said than done, that seasteads in the high seas would be too remote for people to want to live permanently, or that the primary reason is to allow wealthy individuals to avoid paying taxes and exploit the unregulated environment in harmful ways. Criticisms aside, the idea of having floating cities that you can live in or visit, or the opportunities that seasteading would bring to advanced technologies like vertical farming and wave energy is awesome. But I want to know what you think. Do you think seastead communities in the ocean will be a real thing in the future or do you think it'll be another water world flop comment below i hope you enjoyed this journey if you did please leave a like it really helps our channel grow and if you're interested in what life will be like in the future then join the neo scribe tribe and subscribe i am the oracle and this is the end of our journey